Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, haven't posted in a while, um, so I figured I'd do a couple of videos for you guys uh, around the holidays. Um, first off, I know it's, we're not there yet, um, but I would like to say, you know, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all, uh, especially to uh, GI Mechanics, Get a Modeling, um, Brian over at Gottfield's Model Car Garage, Mike Hintz at Mike's Miniatures, a bunch of other you guys, so thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my channel, even though I don't really post it often. Uh, last time I posted was a video of the box Chevy. Um, now I have easily about 20 cars to show you guys. Um, I've been building a lot, been collecting a lot of trucks. Um, so first off, I think I'm going to start off with uh, some new pickups that I've gotten over the weeks since I posted. First off is this uh, still factory wrapped. It's torn a little bit. I believe it's a 61 or 62 Ford Galaxy um, or style line, whatever you want to call it. The old AMT customizing kit. I believe it's a reissue. Yeah, it's a Ford Galaxy. Looks like a 62, I think. But I'm not sure if I'm going to build this or not. If I say I could trade it or something. But it's one kit I got. Um, I got it for a good price. I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. Um, here's another build. I'm actually we're going to be going moving on to actual builds now. Um, wow. Well, I'm still waiting a little, uh, a st the steering wheel will come in, but uh, this is a, uh, I don't know if camera will be able to pick it up that well. It's a 1970 Chevelle, um, and if you're wondering, you know, the hood doesn't close all the way because, I don't know why, I think because when I was, when it was a long story, but when I was uh, gluing the headlight bezel on the, the it snapped, so I had to re-glue it, and then it kind of like warped the fender a little bit. But um, this is 1970 Chevelle. I originally had this red with black stripes and I got rid of it and I put uh, some big uh, 20, 28 inch wheels on it. And um, basically I, I took, I don't know if you, you guys can see it that well, but I put a big, um, big block in it. I believe it's a 502 cubic inch. And then I, uh, I did not hinge the trunk of the hood myself. I shipped it off to a guy in Florida to do that for me, but uh, the custom trunk is all hand done by me. Um, I uh, had some speakers made and I got some nitrous made for me. Uh, everything else I did myself. It's pretty cool. Um, I got carpet in this one. I have seat buckles and I didn't put seat belts in there yet. I do need a. I got a matching steering matching steering wheel coming in yet yet too. Uh, this is a chassis, not nothing fancy, just black and silver detailing. Uh, next up, got, I've been uh, collecting a lot of die casts recently. I don't know why, I just have been. Um, first up, which I is I believe is a '68 Camaro um, by Welly. It's a Welly die cast. I don't know if you guys can see that. Welly die cast. Um, but it's, it's, it's pre-painted and, uh, pre-chromed everything. All you need to do is assemble it. So it's a pre-painted die cast model kit. I just glued everything together right down to the uh, hot rod decals for license plates. The hood opens and you can see, I forgot what the engine is. The engine, I believe it says a three, it's a 302 in there. Um, like, even though it's not like a full engine, um, it's still one of the most beautiful engines I've I've ever seen. I, I mean, I just can't keep my eyes off it to be honest. Um, nothing a whole lot to talk about this one. Uh, just a simple die cast and the wheels roll and everything. I just have it up on display in my bedroom. Um, there's nothing really too special about the interior. Just chrome parts and everything. The wood green steering wheel. Uh, another die cast that I got for you. Is this uh, I believe it's 68 Chevelle? Get the camera focus here again. It's 1968 Chevy Chevelle by Hot Rod, also. Um, it's a Hot Rod die cast, but the people who actually made it is Welly. It's just Hot Rod licensed. Um, I haven't really detailed the engine bay yet. I meant to yesterday and I didn't. Um, it's a 68 Chevelle die cast. Um, it's the same basically as the Camaro, it's a pre painted die cast kit that you just assemble yourself. Has some cool little graphics on the side and chrome, uh, 
chrome wheels. Also, is I'm going to do another build here. The windshield wiper just broke off as I came in here, so I have to re glue it. But I recently picked up, like a month and a half ago, I was in DeKalb and I picked up a, a kit that I've been wanting for a while. It's a 1977 Chevy Shorty van, and um, I painted it with um, a Duplicolor brand uh, Bahama Blue Metallic. And I did Burkett construction decals from the 65 Ford F100 service truck by Mobius Models. Um, I didn't do a whole lot to this one. Um, you see, I just I did, did do a significant amount of detailing around it. Just not just in general, not a whole lot. Um, I built it as a curbside, so there's no engine in there. But there is um, just black and silver detailing. The camera is having trouble focusing today. It's the light. I don't have any, I don't have anything to block the light up. Hopefully that'll do. But um, on the inside, I did a two-tone brown interior. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me move this. That's better. Um, when I got the kit, it was factory resealed. It had never been touched. But then I opened the kit and I was missing the steering column. So I had to make my own steering column out of tube styrene, and then I painted the painted the uh, steering wheel black and silver. I added in some magazines and I folded up and glued in the center console there. Uh, simple, just simple detailing on the dashboard, just chrome chrome knobs and everything. I uh, painted the bow tie blue. Um, not a whole lot done to this one, but the back, there's nothing done to it in the back. But uh, it's just two-tone brown interior, pretty much. Move this out of the way. Um, let's see what else we got. Got a couple other pickups, pickup trucks. They're ex they're the exact same thing, just with some minor differences. Um, one, I have been collecting diecast pickup trucks for a couple weeks now, and I don't know why. I just uh, have been really into them so far. This one is American Legends Motor Max, twenty nineteen Ford F one fifty limited edition. Just limited because it says limited, not like like actually limited edition. Um, I've done nothing to this. I just buy in bone stock and I keep them that way. Um, this one's black with some spoke spoke wheels, a nice black interior. The uh, mirrors fold out both sides, and the front two uh, both of the front doors open. Um, I also bought this red one, which I like a lot. Um, I really, really do like this one. It also has like five spoke wheels, five spoke rims. This one also has opening doors and mirrors, like the black one. Um, again, I just kept this stock. I was thinking about detailing the grill, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and this one just has a coming with a license plate too. The chassis, there's nothing special about the chassis, but I really do like this one too. Um, and then I got, picked up another American Legends Motor Max truck earlier today. It's a, uh, 2021 Jeep Gladiator, Gladiator Rubicon. I just picked this up earlier today, a couple hours ago. Um, it's red, basically black accents and the black and silver wheels. I haven't even opened this yet. As you can see, the plastic's still on here, but pretty cool car, pretty cool. Peter, uh, if I could speak today, pretty cool truck to add to the collection. And then also the other day, I believe it was Thursday, last Thursday, today is Sunday, I picked up a new kit for me to build. It's a uh, 1969 Chevy Chevelle by AMT. It's a SS 396 as the uh, rep man, like I guess gasser or dragster box art on it. Mine, I think I'm just gonna build stock um, but pretty cool build. I think it's going to turn out great for whatever I decide to build it as. Um, also, not a whole lot left to show you guys, but, um, I was at a train show, uh, uh, last weekend, and I picked up a couple Hot Wheels. Now, I don't really collect Hot Wheels anymore. I'm just about all the model cars now, and 
124th and 125th scale, but I just couldn't resist these. Um, it's a Chevy 3500 Dually Hot Wheel, and I believe a 1980, I think. It's a 1980 uh, Monte Carlo Hot Wheel. This one's pretty good condition. This one isn't. I was thinking about just doing uh, some buffing and getting the dirt off this, but I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, there's a couple other kits that I've built and collected to match the Chevy van that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. I built, I managed to find another 70, 1976 Caprice kit and I painted it the same blue as um, the van. I did a whole lot to this. This is originally like a flat red color and it had like a tan interior. The paint on the blue paint on the inside, I, I uh, made myself. I just mixed some black paint and some bright blue paint. Um, I chrome foiled most of the car. I got a, whoops, got a hitch on it because I have it towing the kit trailer. Um, that's on the detailing. Did the lines right there, the exhaust, um, the uh, crossover pipe, oil, oil, uh, oil filter, everything I detailed. All the interior. The interior detailing took me about a week to do. Um, I got this for sale sign decal uh, off the 77 Chevy van kit. No, this is not actually for sale. It's just uh, sitting on a diorama. Um, just painted the engine up orange to max, match the box art. And uh, painted the bumper strips front and back. Not a whole lot to the, this one, but I think it's a pretty, pretty good build in my opinion. Um, and then kit trailer that I didn't actually come with. It came with a different 76 that I sold last year. Um, this is a trailer. I just finished it uh, the other day. I uh, just glued it together and um, and I uh, found some tires. My, thank, uh, my dad gave me the tires so and I had tires for the trailer and I just found a steel wheel out of my parts box that used for the front. Um, these are the uh, hub, the wheels that will come with the trailer kit, so I just use the stock wheels, and I just built it up stock, just detailed and whatnot, and then I have the Caprice towing the trailer like this. I also uh, been collecting old Cadillac promos by Johan, and I recently picked up the 74 Cadillac promo. Not in the best condition, as you can see, it does need work. It needs glass, and needs a window post, needs a front emblem. Hood, um, hood ornament, I meant. Um, overall, it is in pretty good condition otherwise, so it's just a, a nice blue color. I just thought I'd show you guys that car. Another finished build I just finished up is this 1991 Chevy, OBS Chevy pickup truck. I did a heavily customized version of. The blue is the same blue I painted the Caprice and the van in. The white is just a regular gloss white. I had wheels custom made just for me with a matching steering wheel by I think a guy named Mike on Instagram. I don't want to give out his username. I don't want to give out his personal information. But um, I have a carpet in there. I had a homemade turn signal stock, homemade gear shift, and homemade uh, tilt wheel lever. I also uh, just detailed the grill. I shaved off all the trim. There is not a single piece of trim left on this truck. Um, all the trim here going all the way around. I mean, literally everything. Shaved out the front bumper too. Um, and then I uh, smoothed. The tail lights are still in the truck. The tail lights are. I glued into the truck. They're still in there, but um, you can't really. You can barely see them. Just barely. They're in the corner in there. But um, I smoothed them over and I took out the rear bumper and I custom. I uh, made myself a uh, um, custom fabricated roll pan, and by fabricated I mean a bunch of plastic and putty. Um, but it turned out pretty good for my first time. I just made my own grill pan, then I, uh, drilled, drummed out some holes, I grabbed it in some, uh, taillight bezels, and glued in some taillights. The, uh, license plate is from this, um, my parts box, and the parts decal, the plate decal is from the 77 Chevy van kit. Um, and I just painted the interior. The black is just regular gloss black, and the blue is the same blue as the top of the truck. Now, if you're wondering why there's no hood, that is because uh, the paint got screwed up on the hood so many times. I just didn't want to show it on camera just because it's that bad. Um, so, uh, otherwise, the truck is complete, just except for the hood. Again, this is more of a radical custom, I guess. I just 
very simple on the chassis, but like the further up you go, the more custom you see. So I think that's a, uh, one of my favorite builds so far. Also, I'm working on another replica build. As you, some of you guys may know, I built that box Chevy. Um, not for my dad, but just to make, but because um, he has a box Chevy in real life, and I just built another a replica of his car. Well, this one I took. This is a 1992 Cadillac, and as you can see, that's I have the car, the real car, right behind me. And that's what it's going to be. It's a 1992 Cadillac uh, Brougham de um, And I'm building this in uh, dedication to my grandfather. He passed away 2013. I was like 7. I'm 15 now. So, I mean, it's kind of been hard without him. I haven't seen the man in 8 years. Uh... So I'll definitely miss him, and, and dedication to him in memory of my grandfather of building this tr car. If, if That's really the only reason why I picked up the kit, is I'm only building this for him, even though he's not really with me anymore. I'm only building this for him, I'm not really building it for me. Um, but uh, so far, I've had, I started off with the $2 little rider kit, and I shipped the body and door panels out to a guy in Florida. He did a four-door conversion for me. Um, very clean, very nice work. All what he did was just the new door lines, and he he made the B pillar and this right here. Um, everything else I did, I drilled my new door door hole door handle holes and everything else. Um, I filled in the uh, sunroof myself. It's very smooth, and I'm finishing up the bodywork tonight. Um, and then the glass, I had to cut apart so it would fit just at the end window because it was the door, old door line was like right here and that's where the glass came out to so I had to cut the glass back so it would fit um, I have done the chassis itself was done if I can get the hood open I don't think the hood is going to open for us today if, if I can get the hood open that would be nice so you guys can see the detail work there we go um, it's pretty much all I did, all the tubing and everything, air compressors and wires and tubes. Um, I'll be doing, I'll definitely be doing a video of this when this thing is complete. Uh, so far, I haven't really done much of a trunk. I just filled in the back wall where the speakers were, and then I'm gonna be getting some uh, carpet down in there. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. Um, there was uh, in this video. There was the 68 Camaro diecast, the 68 Chevelle diecast, the two Ford pickups, the Jeep, 76 Capri, 69 Chevelle, the 70 Chevelle, the Jeep diecast, the two Hot Wheels, the Chevy van, the Cadillac, the OBS, the trailer, and the Cadillac promo. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll uh, do a Christmas video next week, the, probably the day before Christmas, because um, I'll be busy Christmas Day. Um, so I just want to wish all my viewers and supporters, uh, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas and happy your new year. And, um, I hope you guys, uh, build more models, keep on modeling. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.